Oh my god, why did he just sit down and start using the yoga ball? Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, welcome in. My name is Ali and I hope you all stay for a while. We are back with the Everheart Legacy with our wonderful Hazel here and she is going through it, you guys. She is currently having a little bit of an emotional breakdown because she has still the uh, work from being a little notable newcomer so she is feeling all of her emotions full blast as well as being in her second trimester so she is going through it you guys but if you guys don't remember from her last episode she did get pregnant and she is expecting and we have a new little home which is so cute and cozy you guys but with the new baby coming along we are they are thinking about like upgrading their house because it is getting a little cozy and tight for them and i am gonna send her straight to sleep because it is pretty late for them okay sheldon is up and he's sad because he's missing his little furry friend i did not think they got along well but it's good to know that they do and she is having some really high blood sugar she got diagnosed in our last episode with the glucose uh high blood sugar with her pregnancy so we are going to get her to get some water because she can't really work out um as it says to like work out uh drink water and stuff like that so we're gonna drink some water and try to make sure she's eating a little more healthy today and throughout the pregnancy and i'm gonna have him clean up do some laundry and we're gonna have to move the laundry to the dryer is she hazel you have to be kidding me you're knitting on the toilet hazel this cannot be real hazel why on earth do you think let me pull out my knitting needles while i'm on the toilet and start knitting that is you are crazy yeah sheldon's coming in and is like honey are you okay um you know we have a bunch of chairs outside that you can knit on if you want to start knitting again Oh, Sheldon, he did not do our laundry. Okay, you're gonna search the pockets, and because you want to knit, I am just gonna let you start knitting again, because, you know, if you want to knit, I'm not gonna stop you, and I feel like she should take it somewhat easy, because her pregnancy isn't going the smoothest so far, so I want her to take it a little easy. And he's coming over like, honey, are you okay? Do you need anything? Like... Can I get you some water, some food? And she's like, babe, I just, I just ate. <laughs> and I think he's going to tell her, you know, like, I know that we are trying to get, you know, a bigger house. And with that, we don't have enough money. So I'm thinking about picking up some odd jobs and stuff like that to help us get some money for the baby. So I am going to look at some odd jobs for him. And I think I'm going to order her some insulin now because she's still feeling pretty dazed and it's kind of stressing me out. So I think we're going to get her some insulin. And I heard the little ding. So our laundry is done. It's still damp. So I'm going to do it one more time for them. And she finished her knitting project. That's cool. Okay. So we are going to order from the online pharmacy. It doesn't look like she has any prescriptions, but do they have any insulin? Okay, I don't see insulin. I see medicine, iron supplement, and we have these glucose tablets. That's to help raise the blood sugar, which we don't want to do, I don't think. No, because we have high blood sugar. Oh, inject insulin. Okay. Oh, odd jobs. Okay, so... 83, 156. I think he has Christmas skill level three, so we're gonna try this one for him. And she's feeling much better. Insulin definitely kicked in. I don't want her eating anything unhealthy. Um, so I am gonna have her just make a little garden salad. Or even a fruit salad. You can have a nice fruit salad. And does he have Christmas level? 
Yeah, he's Charisma 7, so he should be absolutely fine. And why don't you join her in cooking? You guys can turn on some music. You guys can listen to romance, because I know she really likes romance. Okay, Sheldon is off to do his odd job. So hopefully he does well. She's going to get some food in her. And then she can put this away. And clean up after yourself, please. Oh, who, who is this? Why is there a teen at our door? Are you okay? Do you need anything? Like, do you need help? Why on earth does this teen have a crush on her? What? I, um... I don't think a teen should have a crush on Hazel. Okay, enough of this. Do go do some paintings. Oh my god, it's a fluffy cat. It's a stray. Wait, y'all. It's a stray. I want it. No, I can't. I can't. I need to get... I want to get a, a kitten next. Which actually reminds me, we don't have a laptop. So I kind of want to buy a laptop. This is an impulse buy. They don't need it. Yeah, that is a fully impulse purchase, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> and when she's done painting, I'm going to have her look at the adoption profiles online because, you know, she's kind of like hormones going off right now. So she's like thinking about getting another little animal in her house. Okay, what are the cats looking like? Tell me why I want one of these now. Or Heidi. Oh, and this one has two different colored eyes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, I want another animal. Okay, she's gonna wait until... Oh, who are you? Okay, we have another little visitor here. Lou Yi Stewart. They both got the pretentious. So they both think they are kind of like stuck up. Hey Hazel, I've been thinking about getting to know... Sure, go for it. Okay, Hazel has to pee extremely bad, or really badly, so she's going to use the bathroom, and then we're going to keep talking to this Lou Yi Stewart. And great success, you got 138 simoleons, that's really good. Uh, we got a $12 tip. Okay, that's really nice. Oh, I think Lou Yi is leaving. Oh no, she's using to or uh, easel, and I see Christy in the background. Okay, she's chatting with her old bestie. She's like, hey, I just saw that you came over. And she's telling her about the engagement, her pregnancy, and just like catching her up, telling her what's been going on. She's been so busy. And then, of course, having to complain, you know, about her hormonal changes. And ask her how she's been, you know, ask her if she has any new romance partners, like what's going on. And Hazel is tired, so she's taking a little nap, which is fine. Sheldon is over here jamming out. Oh gosh. They're both jamming out. Okay, another way I think he's going to try to help um, get some money is entering in some tournaments. But I think he's going to do some more playing just games to get a little better. And he's still feeling super sad. He misses Biscuit. Okay, we're also going to unload the laundry. Oh my gosh, they're just, they're just here. And Hazel's taking a nap. Okay, Hazel, why don't you get up? Come join the party. Oh, she's having such a bad motion bomb. She's crying. This girl, she cannot catch a break with these emotions. Okay, Chrissy is our sim of honor at the wedding. I just wanted to make sure, but maybe Liu could be our officiant. So we're going to ask her. We just met her, but I feel like it'd be cool to ask her. I feel like they could get along well as long as the pretentious goes away. Oh, and she said yes. And Christy's like, oh my gosh, you guys are getting ready. You're making the plans. Okay, he needs to do the laundry. And then we're going to enter a tournament. You're going to do a professional one. Biscuit's back home. Wait, where are we? Okay, Biscuit's coming back. And she's so happy. She's feeling so much better. She got to talk out. Oh. I was going to say, she got to talk out. She's feeling so much better. But she's having a little sob now. Biscuit? 
Biscuit just aged up into an elder. Oh my god, did you guys see that? He like put his hands on his temple like, Honey, please stop crying. I am in a tournament. I can't focus with you crying. Okay, I might send her to sleep early tonight. It's like 7 o'clock. But she's been exhausted all day. Pregnancy. So. And he came in second place. Just a little more practice. That's actually really good, Sheldon. And I think he kind of wants an animal again, too. So he's going to go scrolling on the forums or on the web as well, looking for some new animals. Not knowing that, like, Hazel had just done this earlier today. But, you know, he knows that Hazel loves animals and he's been going through a lot. So he kind of wants to surprise her with a new animal. And I think we're going to go with... Oh gosh, I want to do that so badly. I want to get both of them. Okay, Gus or Heidi? I think we're going to go with Heidi. I just want to make her ears more pointy maybe in the cast. No, we're going to go with Heidi. I like Heidi. But yeah, he just wants to surprise his girl. Make her feel a little better. Oh my gosh, here's Heidi. Okay, Heidi does not like our music. Um... But why don't you do a friendly introduction and turn this off so Heidi isn't scared. And Biscuit is back, so she's gonna wake up, give Biscuit some pets and lovins. And we need to calm Biscuit down and give Biscuit a little bath. And then she's gonna be like, Sheldon, babe, like I hear a kitten, what's going on? Wait, where's the kitten? Oh, here she is. Okay, so I think he's kind of telling her, well, this was going to be your surprise from when you woke up, but I wanted to get a little cat for you to surprise. And she's like, okay, adopt him right away. I'm going to take Biscuit to the bath. So we are going to, okay, we are going to adopt Heidi. And are you sure you want to adopt this pet? Yes. And Heidi's last name will be Everheart. I don't like Heidi. I want to get a different name. Oh, Speckles. I like Speckles. Okay, Speckles Everheart. Okay, so we're going to have to get some cat stuff for them. So I'm going to go look for some cute stuff for the kitten. Okay, I have this really cute, like, beam tower for cats. So I'm going to get this. And they use it, like, as a bed, I believe. And then we also need to get a litter box. I don't want to get the automatic one because I kind of want them to do that kind of chore. Because, like I said, I do like having chores in the house. I'm going to put the litter outside, though. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Did Biscuit not get a bath? We need to give Biscuit a little bath. And, of course, Hazel needs to introduce herself to her new little furry friend and she's also going to become companions with biscuit because biscuit of course was her first animal and biscuit's getting a little old so she wants to become companions and it is one of the like milestones in her little um aspiration i don't know how to successfully train out two misbehaviors so we need to scold them or lecture them okay and Hazel's like, oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this new animal. <gasps> oh no. And Biscuit lie down on this as well. Okay, Hazel is in her third trimester. Okay. Okay, before she passes out again, I am just going to send her to sleep. And she is also going to replace... She's also going to replace the toilet. Oh, she has her appointment. She cannot go to sleep yet. Poor Hazel. <gasps> oh my gosh. She's so small. That's so cute. Also, would Hazel like to know the gender of her baby? Yes. I have to hit yes twice. After a moment of feeling a Hazel Everhart's belly, it is the doctor's expert opinion and joyful job. Now that she's going to have a baby boy. Oh my gosh. We're going to have a baby boy. Okay, guys, let me know some name suggestions down below for a baby boy if we don't have it in this episode. Because I hopefully that's going to be in the next episode. 
but that is my first time doing the little like gender reveal so I was really excited to figure it out but that is so exciting I like I had a lot of baby girl names in my head but not a lot of baby boy names um okay the doctor urges Hazel to take it easy and give herself some grace nothing alarming came up in today's visit but a chance remains in a high-risk pregnancy for c-section okay okay we're, we're gonna take it nice and easy uh she's gonna pee her pants is great okay she showered it off and she is going to head to sleep before she passes out again oh my gosh sheldon you're sleeping through your work <gasps> Beckles is a gluten pet. Glutens like to eat a lot very messily. Oh my goodness. Okay. And Sheldon, no, he's not skipping work. Oh my gosh, he just straight up missed work. Oh my gosh, Sheldon. All right, since you're up, you're going to start doing laundry. So clean out the lint tray, move the laundry to the dryer. Oh my gosh, that is such a messy eating. You guys see how messy it is? Also, it looks extremely dusty here, so we might have to get a vacuum. Okay, she has high blood sugar again, so we need to get some insulin in her. And I think I'm going to actually buy them a little vacuum. Um, I'm just going to do kind of a basic one. We can get a pink vacuum. Okay, so we'll get a little vacuum over here. And he will be the one to vacuum for right now. Oh my gosh, Sheldon, use the toilet. And no no pizza no pizza hazel we're supposed to be eating healthy and she's saying like screw that i want my pizza all right he's vacuuming up helping out around the house which i love i also really love like the vacuums i don't know i just love like the dishwasher and like all the household chores because it adds so much to it Okay, she did just become companions with Biscuit. So the next thing we have to do is successfully train out to misbehaviors. And look at Speckles. I love the kitty little walk. Oh my god. Stop, you guys. This is so precious. Where the heck did that vacuum just go? Did you put it in your inventory? It's in his inventory. <laughs> okay, she's lecturing Speckles about drinking from puddles. And I think she's gonna... I think I'm going to have her knit again because she kind of enjoyed doing that, I've realized. Also, we have this cute little thing that she knitted. Where should I put this? Okay, that's kind of cute. I like that she knitted that. Okay, I think Biscuit needs to go out and pee. So we're going to go ask Biscuit to go potty. And in the meantime, I'm going to have... Oh, can we finish this? No, okay. Okay, right, she's gonna get Biscuit to pee. Hopefully she doesn't pee herself. <laughs> okay, we're gonna have to clean and replace all of these wonderful things we have. And then I'm actually just gonna get her to... I thought she was passing out. I'm gonna get her to finish. Oh, she finished this one. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, we can only scrap it? Oh, dang, I don't want to scrap her artwork. Okay. I am going to get her- oh no, she's passing out again. This girl. Okay, when she wakes up, she's going straight to sleep. I think Sheldon's been faking just working, but he's just been sitting in front of the computer. But I'm gonna have him make some food for everyone. Uh, we are gonna do a veggie and hummus sandwich because we're trying to get her to eat healthy. Oh, he made such a good meal. Okay. Are you hungry at all yet? No, he's not hungry. So he's gonna leave this out for Hazel and I finally think that they have bonded together. If you guys remember when he first moved in, Biscuit was not a fan of him and he was not a fan of Biscuit. So I finally think they did bond and I'm gonna get him to work on a painting. Since she's taking it easy, I think he would want to, you know, try to start helping out. I like that plant more in their room. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and Biscuit's up here. Even Biscuit looks so small, like a little small bean in there, but that's so adorable. Um, sir? Sir, we can be besties. Why does everyone want to be her best friend? <laughs> oh my gosh, he's still painting. He finished this one, he was on to the next. 
Okay, I'm gonna get her up. She needs to use the toilet. And also get some food. Oh gosh, Shelton, what is this? What is this, Shelton? <laughs> that is not what you had before. Oh no, it's done. That's excellent. I don't, I don't understand. Biscuit has learned to be outside. Finally, Biscuit. Uh, she has high blood sugar again. Can we inject insulin? No. Okay, that's not good. Oh, our washer machine's broken. We're just gonna replace it. And I'm gonna send her back to sleep because she's exhausted once again. This girl is like tired 24-7 when she's pregnant. But since she's going to sleep, I'm actually going to have him do the yard sale. Fat baby news! Jamie and I are pregnant! I wanted to make sure you heard it from me first. Oh my gosh! That is really cool because we're actually pregnant too. Okay, he's going to stock the table and tend the table. Markup prices 300% start yard sale. These are some big paintings. I don't know if all, I don't think a lot of them are going to sell for like what Hazel sells for. Like this one will, but that's made by Hazel. <laughs> Come on, Sheldon, put on your charm to sell these pieces. Okay, 2000, oh, it was Hazel's. I was like, oh, someone bought his. 1060, that's not bad. I love how I just watch this. It's so entertaining to see how the yard sale goes out. And he's thinking about his new baby coming. That's so sweet. Okay, y'all. We have one more P. Oh, there we go. 964. Okay, that's not bad. Oh my gosh, the cat hair. It begins. Jackals is a fluffy cat. Okay, use the toilet. Okay, she can inject insulin, so that's good. Hazel's up. She's getting some food. So she's going to chat with Maggie because I think they do know each other from one of those like events in the city. Hazel is bursting with anticipation to meet her new bundle of joy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. First time giving birth. Okay. So I want to get her the ball. Wait, I just want to get her this little bouncing ball to bring to the hospital. And we are going to go have the baby i want to make sure everything is correct okay we are going to have baby at the hospital and we are going to join her and sheldon you're getting your butt up all right we're at the hospital we have nine days to go and he's having his little panic and you can see he had just gone out of bed because he has his glasses on which is so cute Okay, I am going to put her little ball over here and she is going to have to exercise, get back rubs, all that joy. Oh goodness, she's like, no, this is so early. It is not time because she's actually in early labor. So this baby's coming a little sooner than expected. Oh. He passed out. Okay, when she gets up, we are going to sleep and then check her dilation. Um, we'll ask Abram, I guess, to do it. And he's over here sleeping too. No, you are not going to work. Stop that right now. You can miss work. Yeah, you can pick it up. You're not going to work. He's like, my boss is calling. Should I pick it up? Yeah. He's like, I'm at the hospital right now. I technically really can't come in because my fiance is literally giving birth to my baby. Okay, she's getting her dilation checked out. Where are we, Doc? Two centimeters. Okay. Do some more breathing exercises. Oh, and she just wants to be alone. Oh, honey. All right. He's helping her out. He's giving her some back massages. He's like, I got you. Like, don't worry. Everything's going to be a-okay. You know, she's a little worried because she kn he knows she's a little worried because this pregnancy is like a really like big miracle for them because he had very low odds. But he's just reminding her how amazing she is doing, basically. 
All right, she's gonna do a little walkie walk. Y'all, I don't know if it's just me, but this baby bump seems awfully big. Let's see, we can't come with you, I'm sorry. Also, our power is gonna be shut off because we didn't pay the bills. Oh my gosh, chaos. Um, Pay your bills, Sheldon. But as I was saying, this baby bump really does feel pretty big to me. I don't know if it's just me, but I really don't think that's a one baby baby bump. Oh my gosh, it's almost time. About time already. The contractions are intense. Hazel feels the insides of her body is being lit on fire and ripped apart simultaneously. She is done with this whole situation and ready to get it over with. Oh, girl. The amount of times she has passed out in this episode is insane. Okay, someone, someone please check our dilation. Ma'am, please get off of the computer. Okay, nine centimeters. We're almost there. Oh, and she's checking out our heart too. Oh gosh. And she is down for the count. <laughs> you cannot get enough sleep on these beds. Okay, we're gonna check dilation one more time. And poor Sheldon. He's been here like just sleeping because he's so exhausted and he can't sleep on the beds. He can only sleep on the or he can only nap on the slow like benches. Okay, we were fully dilated. Okay, it is time, you guys, for her to give birth. Sheldon, you better be waking up to get your butt in here. Um, what just happened? Oh my god, why did he just sit down and start using the yoga ball? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> He just sat down. Um, Sheldon, I think I think you need to be there for your fiance now. Sheldon, you better be jogging back over here. Oh my gosh. Guys, she's having her first baby, and we know it's a baby boy. Um, please tell me why Sheldon is just standing there in the corner. Like he's like, I I don't know what to do. <laughs> Congratulations, it's a boy. Okay, so I was thinking of Leo. I thought Leo was like a really nice name that goes with Everheart, Leo Everheart. So we're going to go with that. Y'all, did I not call it? Did I not say her belly looks a little too big for one kid? I am. Okay. I like the name Willow for a girl, Willow Everheart. So I think those are the names. And I swear to gosh, if you guys give me another pop up. Okay. Congratulations, the doctor has prepared the birth certificate. Leo and Willow have been sent to daycare. What do you mean? Leo and Willow are right here. <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, ignore that it's too, like, completely wrong skin tone. But oh my gosh. And the fact that Sheldon is not, like, you know, accompanying her. Hazel, you did it. No, what? Hunger failure? Are you okay? Y'all, I'm scared. Did you guys see that? It said hunger failure. What was that? And then she ate something and her needs are all fully up. I'm actually kind of terrified and confused. I'm, I'm just going to go home. <laughs> we're just, we're going to go home. Because I have no idea. I think she was about to, like, die. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, where are the babies? Okay, one is here and the other one is here. Okay, side note. I was just about to end the episode. And Speckles is aging up. Oh my gosh, look at Speckles is magnificent. <laughs> Speckles is aged up. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, that's side glare. We definitely need to make some house improvements in the next episode, but I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of the Everheart Legacy. We have twins, you guys. That is so exciting. I mean, I don't really love toddlers, but or babies because they're kind of annoying. But I'm so excited. I hope you guys did like the names that like I picked out for the little twinsies. But let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of this episode. If you guys did like the episode, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.